Welcome to our Facebook Live event for Aviant Specialty Inks. We are thrilled to announce the launch of our consolidated line of Plastisol Special Effects Inks and Performance Additives under the new banner Aviant Specialty Inks. It encompasses the best and the most popular products from our portfolio. Customers can expect dazzling shimmers, glitters, bases, gels, texture effects, and a wide range of performance enhancing additives. Today's print will feature a few of these special effect inks. Utilizing the infinite effects strategy on press. This strategy enables any printer to create a special effects lab in their own shop. As you will see today, we created a piece of art for our presentation that utilizes five basic separation pieces on a multitude of screens. These different screens include an underbase, highlight white, three high density screens, some regular screens for overprint color, and a specialty high density screen for a gel effect. We will show these prints and some after effects. For the first print, we're utilizing the highlight screen as the underbase as we want the specialty ink to go directly to garment. Here we're using just a cotton white on a cotton garment. This is usually done on manual but today we're using our automatic. And you'll see as it comes under the smoothing screen a nice smooth surface and we're going to apply our suede. So the suede is direct to the garment. And what we like to do is individually print our special effects. And we can keep those and mark those to show our customers. Or we can do some overlay prints. And eventually we do some mixing in between. It's a good idea to mark every piece that you create so you can follow up later and repeat that design or effect. So for instance you pick six bases you create six prints and then each of those prints you overlay or under base the other five bases. This leaves you at about 180 samples. Once you start mix matching and over printing it's actually infinite. So that's the infinite effects. So here's our first sample. It's the suede printed directly to the garment and on top of white. So on the garment gives a nice pure suede feel, very soft, and then on the white it actually has a kind of a feel like a, a chamois cloth. So with the underbase you're adding another dimension to that same ink. Here we're applying the full underbase flash And as we come under the press, we are running now the high density, which is the sculpture base mixed with a brown. And right here we can leave it as is and take a look at it, or we can add something to it. As you notice, we're printing very little pressure on this high density, and I'm putting it on the underbase. It prints much easier like that. This is a 80 with a 200 micron stencil on the screen. As you can see it's already tight kind of lifting here. Uh, we have some dimension. Uh, later we'll add some dimension to that with another high density screen. But right now I thought you know this is kind of cool and plain but you know we'll add a little bit of dimension to it. So we're bringing it down and we're actually adding an HD clear with a brown pigment, darker brown pigment, and you'll see the effect here. So that gel will actually dome in the oven as the sculpture base rises up. I'm actually kind of skipping ahead here because right now I would have just left that high density by itself, put it in the file, mark it up, but in the interest of time we'll just skip ahead a bit. So you see the dots there, a little bit darker brown. They feel just like maybe a basketball or some kind of engineered grippy surface. 
And of course, since I use HD clear, I can have more fun with it. Still warm from the oven. I can throw foil right on top of the uh, clear. Give it a good rub, yank it off, and that foil will adhere exactly where the clear is. This type of effect takes it from a manly look to more of a feminine look. So since we're just having a little fun here, why not put the clear down by itself? So here's the brown clear, printed directly to the garment. And as we run it through the oven, again, we pull it off the belt and immediately apply the foil. You see it grabs it right away. What's great about this effect is you don't necessarily have to do it on the first run through the dryer. You can actually get a whole run ready and when people are set up, simply run the shirts back through the dryer and the foil will adhere again as the ink will remelt, creating a great receiving adhesive for the foil. If you rub harder, it will adhere and roll around the dots. It'll give kind of a texture. You can actually feel the dots sticking up and the foil adhere to it like a gilding process. So before we start moving on or cleaning out screens, we say, hey, since we have these inks in the screen already, let's try the high density and flash and put the suede on top and see what happens. The sculpture base creates a nice smooth surface and the suede was printed through a 230. We'll print it easily. Initially you won't see much of a difference in the color or the surface. And you may not even come up with a very nice effect at all. This is all about experimentation and creating something that you do that's different than your competitor down the street. As it comes out of the oven, you see that the suede actually pops up, creates a nice surface. And now that you know how to make this effect, you can create new artwork to perhaps make a untanned leather combination with a patch and create a really nice look. So while we're having fun, let's break out the silver shimmer and then add a little pigment to it, create a nice purple jewel tone look. That silver shimmer in about 2% purple ink. We'll go ahead and create our underbase with a puff this time. It's actually using the same pattern as the suede. This is a straight white puff. And then we'll just Flash it and overprint with the purple shimmer. And as it comes around, it's still flat. You know, we don't have a pure puff reaction yet because it hasn't been cured. But place it on the dryer and watch and see what happens. And here we go. It's a little hard to see exactly, but as we move in, you'll see the nice puff look from underneath the purple shimmer. And you can put this on about any color. You see it's like a quilt almost. It's a lot of fun. The surface is fun to uh, feel. And you can imagine making all sorts of images like uh, quilt patterns, uh, rock patterns, any kind of pattern and create an interesting look for any design. With this underlay, you can experiment with lots of overprint colors or effects. Always comes out interesting. So we showed you a few effects already. Again, the overlays are infinite. Let's keep going. What do you suggest? Great looks. Here I'm looking at straight um, purple shimmer again. This time I'm going directly to a underbase to show how the shimmer will get very smooth and pure metallic like in its look and feel. There it is. I have to zoom in to kind of see the color. In true light, 
you can actually see a very shiny, cool, smooth look. Really nice sheen. And by not underbasing the shimmer, you create more of a glitter look. So you can actually have two looks from the same ink on and off an underbase. More of a shine. And when it's direct to garment, it's a remarkably soft feel. And we just continue with the straight silver shimmer on and off an underbase, creating two different looks. When you do the infinite effects on your press, you have the free will to do anything you want. You can overprint, underprint, put different uh, bases on top of each other, and you can start mixing them together. Again, that's why they call it infinite effects. It's wide open, and you're the only one that knows what you did. Gives you an advantage over your competitors down the street. Here you can see the nice shimmer look, directed garment, and then on the overprint, more of a metallic look. This is a much safer way to create metal look, uh, shimmer on top of an underbase. Doesn't oxidize in the wash, stays silver forever. Now we're going to jump to a more athletic look, uh, high density screens. Creating a sculpture base and blue mixing color. You see it's, it's stiff but it's short. So as we printed that through the high density we actually had a second high density screen. that We put the light blue through and you can see how it ridges. We're just stacking the high density on top of each other creating a more dimensional look. Nice clean edges. And actually remarkably easy to print if you have everything lined up correctly. And what the heck, since I had that high density up, I went ahead and got a pure clear, HD clear, printed on top, so we have a nice look. And of course, we love throwing that foil on top. You get some clear foil, some iridescent foil, create studs, make it look like aluminum, make it look like diamonds, whatever you want. You can also fix jobs with foil at the end. Sometimes I like to actually use a press to create a look with the foil. With a more complete foil adhesion, you can make a very shiny look with a texture. There you go. We hit every edge. Like utilizing a transfer press, I call it After Effects. So put something on like a the brown high density that we used earlier. Use some aluminum foil. We'll press that. And what that does, it remelts the surface of the ink and the texture of the aluminum foil is transferred to the surface of the ink. And it's there for good. During the infinite effects process, I'll like to throw any of the scraps or some of the few good ones to the side to make sure I'm doing this type of application on every one of them. Hey, some are hits, some are misses. Either way, you've got something new and exciting. And you can create new designs to support this type of texture. So you can see this one setup, we've created all these special effects. And because of time constraints, I really didn't scratch the surface. You can set this up on your manual or automatic. Use the different bases. Keep it simple at first, and then branch out with different pieces of art. That's what the infinite effects process is all about. Thank you for watching, and welcome to the world of Aviant Specialty Inks Special Effects.